because the elm is sacred to witchcraft in the occult. Elm is associated with death and the underworld. And of course the Illuminati place their symbolic torch like a sacrificial burnt offering. Just like where the Illuminati placed the symbolic torch where they sacrificed Diana. The torch on the pyramid. The eternal flame, the symbol of the Illuminati. The illuminated eye of the fire triangle. Because to the Romans, Diana was known as Diana Lucifera, she who bears the light, or the torch bearer. The ancient triple head goddess of the crossroads, witchcraft, and childbirth. The torch of Diana Lucifera. But the Illuminati fooled the world and called her the Statue of Liberty. She holds her torch to light her way in the underworld. In ancient Sumer, she was known as Inanna, and in Babylon, she was known as Ishtar. Inanna stole the Tablets of Destiny. She descended to the underworld through the Seven Gates. Represented by the Seven Spikes, Diana Lucifera, she who bears the light. And that's why you see the torch symbolism everywhere. The secret symbolism of the Brotherhood of the Illuminati. Secret hidden symbolism. Prometheus. Diana Lucifera was also known as the Goddess Columbia. Columbia means the dove, the virgin dove, because the zodiac symbol for Virgo was the dove, or the Columbia. The dove represents the virgin goddess. The white virgin dove, a symbol of sacrifice. The root word for Columbia is column. And that's why they sacrificed Diana upon the pillar or the column. Because the ancient Greeks and Romans made their sacrifices upon the pillar or the column. The ancient sacrifice ritual known as the pillar of sacrifice. The altar, the sacred pillar of sacrifice. Just like the ancient Jews, Canaanites and the Israelites. The sacrificial tower, pillar or column. The significance of the pillar goes way back into history. From the pillar of the Israelites to the pillar of the Kabbalah and the sacred pillar of the Freemasons. You'll see the secret societies of the world using the symbolism of the virgin goddess and the broken pillar. Standing behind her is the god Saturn, the god of chaos and death. He is the god worshipped by the Jews and the Israelites. The god Saturn, or El, the great father, the grim reaper, and the father of time. As in your time is up. And that's why Saturday is named after Saturn, because that's the day we all party and have sex and go crazy. In Greece, he was known as Cronus, and that's where we get the word crown. Saturnalia, the ancient worship of Saturn that we call Christmas. Saturn castrated his father Uranus and became the supreme god. Father God Saturn ate all his children except for Zeus. And that's why the Skull and Bones worship Saturn, or El. Saturn eating the crossbones. The Skull and Bones worship Saturn, and that's why they have the grandfather clock. And the symbolism of the three tiers, or the three steps. The three steps in every Masonic Lodge. The same three steps you'll find at every church. And you'll find the same three steps in the courtroom. The sacrifice is three steps up, because a statue is always of somebody who is already dead. Like the pillars that were sacrificed before the goddess of the underworld. Diana was sacrificed in front of a replica of the Statue of Liberty in Paris. Goddess of the Moon. The primordial goddess of the underworld and the watery abyss. Diana was killed next to the river Sin. Sin was the Babylonian god of the moon. The Roman moon goddess Diana was goddess of lakes, ponds, and rivers. That's why statues of her will be in the middle of the pond. Just like the Statue of Liberty, goddess of the watery abyss. The primordial mound piercing the black chaos of the watery abyss. The Masonic, Egyptian, and Sumerian ancient creation myth. 
And that's why the Statue of Liberty sits on the Primordial Mound. Just like the Primordial Mound on 911. Notice the Altar of Sacrifice and the three pillars on the island and the watery abyss. Like three burning candles, three towers fell on the island of New York. And that's why Harry Potter sits upon the primordial mound of the black chaos of the watery abyss. And of course, the royal family rules from an island. Because Diana was the moon goddess and her twin brother Apollo was the sun god. The twins, grandchildren of the god Saturn and the goddess Diana and Apollo were born on the island of Delos. So Diana, the moon goddess, was born on an island. And that's why the Illuminati and the royal family buried Princess Diana on an island. And they buried Diana on the same island that the Spencer family buried their dogs and animals. She is surrounded by the oak groves or the forest because the ancient Roman moon goddess Diana was goddess of the forest, goddess of the sacred grove. There's even a statue of Diana at the sacrificial site of Bohemian Grove. In Sonoma, California, it's known as Valley of the Moon, the sacred grove of Bohemia in Northern California, where the world elite meet every year during Midsummer, secret rituals of the Illuminati and the world elite. Over a thousand of the world elite meeting in the sacred groves. And speakers there have included both of the President Bushes as well as ex-President Reagan and Nixon. And that's why the Illuminati use our police to keep us out. But on July 15, 2000, on the night of the full moon, Alex Jones snuck into the grove and took video evidence of the satanic rituals performed there. A mock human sacrifice caught on tape. If you haven't seen dark secrets inside the Bohemian Grove, I suggest you do. Notice that they're sacrificing to the demon god, an owl, because the owl represented the demon goddess of death. Like the demon goddess Lilith or Annas, they made sacrifices to the bull god in the belly of the beast. The bull god is known as El or Baal, known as Saturn, El, Satan, Cronus, the devil, evil. Saturn, or El, is also represented by the Owl El. The etymology of the word Owl is a slave to El. Haven't you always wondered why an Owl is always used for clocks? Because Saturn is the wise old Owl, Father Time. And that's why the US Capitol sits in the belly of the beast, the beast of the owl. Because the US Capitol is where we send our children to be sacrificed in war. And if you still don't believe it, Washington DC is set up and laid out exactly like Solomon's temple. And exactly where the altar of sacrifice is, is where our state capital is. 